In this demonstration, we will begin developing the build strategy focusing on a block aft of midship. Once the assembly levels are defined, we will assign individual parts and sub-assemblies, including any pre-outfitting, to the appropriate level. Before making changes to the product model, we will activate the task to manage and track changes. At the beginning of the detailed design phase, we only have a higher level assembly structure that is typically defined by the Integrated Master Schedule, or IMS. The detailed build strategy we are creating refines the schedule by breaking the vessel down into smaller work products that represent how the ship will be built. Other breakdowns can be defined as needed. In the product work breakdown structure, or build strategy, every part has its place. Production drawing generation, report generation, part naming, and assembly visualization are all driven by the build strategy. In a typical workflow, parts create panels, panels create sub-assemblies, sub-assemblies create assemblies, and assemblies create units. We need to define the various levels before we can assign parts. To make it easy to find and assign parts to assemblies, we will load the unit into a common workspace that only contains the structure parts. We will focus on the central assembly and hide the outboard sections. We will assign each selected part to the appropriate assembly in the build strategy. Starting at the highest level in our assembly, we will assign groups of parts to each level. The deck plates and longitudinal sections will be assembled with prefabricated frame panels. The frame panels will each be fabricated with the stiffeners connected to the plates before joining the sub-assembly. We can view all the parts contained within the sub-block to check if there are any outfit parts we would like to include in the early stage assembly. We will select all the penetrations, connecting flanges, and pipework contained in the ballast area. These will be assigned to the assembly as pre-outfit items. Once the sub-blocks have been created, we will assign user-defined attributes or finishes to the assemblies. User-defined attributes are defined as needed to satisfy the shipyard. In this case, we have set up assemblies to be constructed in the panel block assembly area by default. However, the two outboard assemblies will go to the curved block assembly area where the shelf plates can be assembled in pin jigs. With a complex assembly, it can be difficult to visualize the assembly sequence. We will simulate the workflow step by step to gain a better understanding of how the block will come together. With the parts assigned to the build strategy and the sequence reviewed, we are ready to begin creating production drawings and nesting stock. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.